Hello, welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, Orthon Dresson, and today we're going to be looking at all the wrestling news from Friday. We start with a good story for WWE. Let's have a look at the Raw ratings. Uh, this week's Raw did 2.903 million viewers. However, it is slightly down from last week's 2.932 million viewers. While it is slightly down, this is considered a good thing because this was the first week they were up against the new Monday night football season. This week's Raw also was up from last year's first show against football, which did 2.69 oh, last year. So it's up 0.3 million views. So 300,000 viewers up from last year, which is a good turnaround for Raw. I think they've got a good chance this year. Whereas we know the attendance didn't do good. At least they're getting some good television ratings. Uh, and this week's Smackdown Live did 2.752 million viewers, which was up from last week's 2.582 million viewers. So both of them are looking pretty damn good on ratings at the minute, which is really good. Uh, then we go to the story on why Mike Kanellis isn't on TV. According to Dave Mouser, the reason was my, the reason why Mike Kanellis is not being featured on WWE television has nothing to do with his recent prescription drug issues. Uh, Get help, please, mate. We believe in you. Uh, the, it appears that the company simply does not want to push him right now, and he didn't knock him dead with his initial performances. Uh, well, I've got all the faith for you, Mike and Ellis. You will be amazing. Uh, and Kofi Kingston possibly suffered an injury at Wednesday night's live event in uh, Ho Honolulu. Uh, H.I. Not a clue which day that is. In a tag match, he reportedly missed a cost body and was seen limping afterwards. Several fans noted while he was still being physically physical afterwards, he seemed to be in pain and was helped to the backstage area. If he is hurt, this will be bad timing since Xavier Woods is also currently injured and recovering. <sighs> Good luck, Kofi. I hope you're not that badly injured, mate. We do love the new day. Uh, then we go to... Um, the news, John Cena is not scheduled for this week's Raw, just like Brock Lesnar. Cena will be in China this week for Smackdown Live events in Shenzhen. Shenzhen? I don't know. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. WWE did this week's angle of Braun Strowman slamming Cena on the steel steps as a way to write him off from the um, coming Monday show. Uh, and Bobby Roode talked about potential opponents in WWE. So many times. I mean, there really is. I'm not kidding. The first guy that comes to mind here on SmackDown and roster would be AJ Styles. AJ is one of those guys that I had the pleasure of coming up with together in the business. I've been in the business as long... He's been in the business as long as I have. We've travelled most roads together. We've been in the ring a lot of times, but never at a WWE stage. So that would be very special for me. Anyone on Raw, I mean, there are so many guys over there. John Cena would be awesome. Braun Strowman, I mean, that name goes on and on and on. I haven't been in the ring with brand... This is a brand new platform for me. A lot of uncharted waters and a lot of places I want to go and a lot of guys I want to face. Very exciting times for me. Damn. I want to see all of those matches, Bobby. You've got the chance. Uh, okay, spoiler warning here. Um, I'm going to do some NXT spoilers. When I put my hand up like that, I would have finished the spoilers. So just go through the video to see that. Uh, okay, um, former Ring of Honor star Leo Rush made his debut in a losing effort to Velveteen Dream. Uh, and um, Authors of Pain appeared on NXT taping, so it appears they will not be debuting on the main roster. At this time, and uh, it was announced a fatal four-way match would take place at Takeover Brooklyn, Takeover Houston, November 18th to crown the new women's champion. In addition to Corey saying Peyton Royce and Ember Moon won qualifying matches, the fourth participant was not revealed at the tapings. That's very interesting news. I cannot wait to see the that fatal four-way. Then whoever the fourth woman is, please let Corey Sane take it. But yeah, that's uh, NXT. There you go. There's your spoilers over. Didn't want it to spoil NXT. I didn't want to cover this, but since I've already read the spoilers, because I clicked on them stupidly and checked through all the stories, and I should have read the titles before clicking on them. I didn't want to know any of this, but what are you going to do? I already know it now. Uh, then we go to Hulk Hogan um, commenting on Hurricane Irma. With the following tweets. No water, no power, cry babies. Everyone's complaining. These people have no clue how bad it could be. Praying for those that got a hit hard. Loss. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's really 
right to call people crybabies when they're in the middle of a hurricane, mate. Yes, they may have not have lost the house, but no power, no water. Without water, you can die, mate. It's it's a very bad situation. You shouldn't be calling people crybabies. That's just my opinion. And homes, life, businesses lost, everything. Thank you, God, for helping those with divine, highly blessings. God speak only love. H H. Godspeed only love. Oh, Godspeed only. Love H H. Um, okay. Lovely tweet about God, but I let, let's just pick this apart. Um. Okay, so God is helping them with the divine, highly blessings. Isn't he the one that caused the hurricane? Isn't the that God's doing? In the first place, I don't know. I'm just gonna put that out there, and I'm gonna get a ton of hate for that because I'm mentioning about God. But that's just my opinion. I'm not. I'm not slagging God off at all. Just, just to make that very, very clear right now, I'm not slagging God off. It's just my opinion. Isn't everything created by God? But if He is protecting those people, thank you, God. I guess. But anyway, best of luck to all the people involved in Hurricane Irma, and I'll. God, we've got more bad news about Hurricane Emma. Um, WWE NXT star Lacey Evans revealed on Instagram that she lost her home from Hurricane Irma. She said, I can replace appliances, clothes, howl my entire home, but this will never be replaced. Never. I couldn't. I could give two shits about what I've lost. Damn. This is the worst part. All, all I had left was my... All I had left of my father in these, saving what I can. Hurricane, Hurricane Irma can kiss my ass. It destroyed all of her photo albums. That That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. When you lose pictures of your family members that you could never get back, that is absolutely awful. Damn, Lacey Evans. Best of luck. I'm sorry to hear about your troubles. Seriously, losing pictures like that must be devastating, especially if it's got the pictures of your father in. I'm sorry about your home. Best of luck to every person out there who's been affected by Hurricane Irma. I've got you in my thoughts and prayers, and I hope being everything turns out all right, and we, we pray that no one has been killed. I really am praying that no one has been killed in this, because it's absolutely horrific. And that's where I'm going to end the news today. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give this video a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content. And I'll catch you later.